see you again on my channel let's go to kenya last time i had introduced mount elvon and i mentioned the wildlife there today i will introduce one of the most famous places in mount elvon which is the kitum cave most people think of kitum cave as an animal's habitat only however kitum cave is also a site where you can see the ancient life of kenyans there is a reason to keep it as it is without developing it. Even there is no electricity, it is because animals still come to this Kitum cave. Then, why do animals continue coming here? So we should go to follow the guide of Mount Elgon. Let's go together to find the reason. This is the cave in which elephant enters at night. We have elephants, buffaloes, and the bushbucks that comes here at night. They come here because of the parts of this cave contain salt. They don't come here because of shelter. They come here because of that salt. As you know, Mount Elgon receives a lot of rainfall and because of that we have a leaching that occurs in some parts around this cave. Though those animals eat and graze on those trees, leaves and other greens, they don't obtain all nutrients necessary for their body. That is why they come in this cave to supplement those nutrients that they lack from the forest. So elephants do not come here to shelter themselves from the rain. They come here because of that salt. They have an entrance and an exit in this cave. When you look here, this place act as an exit and an entrance for all animals that enters in this cave. Elephants and buffaloes use the same fruit. When an elephant enters into this cave, it's usually led by a female elephant called Mantriach. It is an oldest elephant that has full experience and knows where the path. When the elephant enters into this cave, it enters in a chain way. They don't enter randomly. They always follow a line. The matriches takes the lead and the males follows it. When the matriches enters this cave, it lowers its trunk. That one is used for navigation of the way and to sense any dangers ahead. It uses that trunk for sensing. In Mount Elgon, we have 400 elephants. Those elephants move in our families. One family is between 20 to 40 elephants. So you may see a group of 40 elephants entering at once going to lick that salt. They start entering into this cave at 9 o'clock and exit the cave at 4 o'clock at dawn. So when you come here in this cave at 6 o'clock in the morning, you can't find any animals here. That is why 
tourists are only allowed to stay at this place up to six o'clock in the evening because from that from this time animals from different parts will be entering the cave because when elephant enter the cave and senses the presence of human in the cave at this time they go away when you look over there you can see the droppings of elephants before gazetting this park this place was used as a human settlement the same elegant Masai Kalenjin community used this place as their settlement This Mount Elegon is considered as a dispersal zone of Kalenjin community. They dispersal from here, heading to their current settlement areas. Their cow was sleeping in this cave also. On the other elevated side, sheep and goats used to sleep there. This cave has apartments. Humans used to settle at the lower side of the cave. When you look at the wall of this cave, there is smoke. There was a conflagration that was lit in the entrance of the cave by people who settled in this cave. They lit that fire to scare away those dangerous wild animals like elephants, buffaloes, and hyena. Beside fire, energetic blooming young men used to sleep at the entrance of this cave. Elders, women, and children used to sleep inside the cave, which was safer at that generation. Let's go inside and see the place where elephants lick salt. There are so many bugs inside this cave. They spend daytime in the darkest places and only goes out at night to look for food. When elephant reaches at this place, they start that process of extracting salt from this wall. When you look up, you can realize that we have a lot of scratches. Elephant uses its trunk to scratch the wall and its trunk to collect those scratched particles. This entire place is salty. This is how the whole of this cave has been scratched. Even the community of the people who live in this cave also extracted and used this salt for animals and human consumption. Here we have the skull. It is for the young one of an elephant. It came here to lick salt. But after licking salt, on its way back, it slid on a rock and fell into abyss and died there. So this skull was taken from that abyss in 1972. Hyenas ate it and remain this skull. That is why it is dangerous to enter this place alone because of hyenas. Mount Elgon is a volcanic mountain. This is one of the signs. Here we have a hole. There are some glitters in it because during eruption time some tree trunks were mixed up with magma. They were subjected to high temperature. 
That is why there are some shiny particles in this hole. But it is just a tree that was mixed with magma. During eruption of Mount Elgon, when the lava reaches at the low temperature, it solidified, forming this cave and other cliffs. When the elephant came into this cave, the young ones are brought at this place to drink water. This water is salty. As you know, the young ones cannot manage to lick salt on the wall. That is why they are brought here to drink this salty water. The reason why this water is salty is because in the process when big elephant dig that salty wall of the cave to obtain salt, some particles fall down. So these particles cause this water to be salty. There is no salt on the ground. The particles fall from the walls of the cave causing this water to be salty. When the young ones of elephant finish drinking water, can you see this place? It is clay soil purely. So the young elephants are brought here to be trained how to dig the salt. So this is the training ground for the young elephants. When their task starts maturing, they are brought here for training. After training, they are brought back to those hard salty caves to dig the salt. This water springs from the ground. A healthy elephant weighs 5,000 kilograms. The period between consumption and delivery of, the, of an elephant is 22 months. Lactation period is 2 years. That is why there is a slow growth of elephant population. When the young one of an elephant is born, it weighs 232 kgs. Elephants drink 160 liters of water in a day. It consumes 70 kgs of food in a day, but only 40% of this food is utilized by its body and the rest is released as a waste product. The elephant's lifespan is 65 years. The community that used to live here used this water for their domestic use. Everyone like me, I explore the Kitum cave of Mount Elgon. So we found out the reason why we cannot go alone in this Kitum cave. Even today, animals enter the Kitum cave to obtain salt. I will explain again to help you understand. Kitum cave is an unsolutional cave developed in a pyroclastic volcanic rocks. It extends about 200 meters, 700 feet into the side of Mount Elgon near the Kenyan border with Uganda. The walls are rich in salt and animals such as elephants have gone into deep the cave for centuries in search of salt. And other animals including bushbugs, buffalo and hyenas come to Kitum Cave to consume salt left by the elephant. So there is a lot of birds going on deeper in the cave from fruit eating and uh, insectivorous birds. There is also a deep crevice into which young elephants have fallen and died. So this Kitum cave is a very dangerous to explore alone without a guide. The reason is that there is no electricity facility and the second is that it does not make a way for tourists. Because this place is still used by animals, 
If there are signs of development here, animals will not come. So a guide is a, is a must for every trip to Africa. There are various travel courses in Mount Elgon. At any time, Mount Elgon awaits you. I hope my channel, let's go to Kenya, will help you a lot. If you want to know more about Mount Elgon, leave your question in the comments. Next time, I will do my best to introduce Kenya through my channel let's go to Kenya I want you to get and know a lot about Kenya I wish you a happy time in your family today goodbye and let's go to Kenya